um, a, a broth to go with it. Or to go into the risotto. You meant cutting... No, oh, I know. I don't have any tomatoes. So I don't have any tomatoes to cut into little cubes. Alright, we need one cup of rice. Alright, we're going to be using... Because uh, we don't have aborio rice, we're going to be using our Japanese round rice because the only real requirement was short grained rice I'm gonna need to get more round rice soon or I'm not gonna be able to make sushi not season, you forgot. Oh no, it's not that. I just don't have tomatoes. I can get tomatoes year round, but I forwent the fresh vegetables on this grocery trip to keep shop costs down because even though someone else was buying for me, I didn't want to take advantage of that. All right, so we're going to put our dry rice into this mixture and we're going to swirl it around a little bit and cook it. I think that is basically all of our ingredients. Yeah, we have hothouse tomatoes that are trucked up from California every year, uh, all year round. So we, it's never too hard to get tomatoes. They just change in price a little. All right. Now that we've got our rice mixed in, this is the fun part. We're going to pour a little bit of our juice in. I mean broth. Did I just call broth juice? Eh, close enough. It's the same thing, right? And then you just stir it until the juice is absorbed. And then you keep adding it in about a half a cup at a time until all of the liquid is absorbed. Or the rice is kind of a creamy, pasty goodness. But still has defined rice. If you cook it to the point where there's no grains left and it's just kind of a porridge, you've gone too far. <laughs> Just keep cooking. All right, let's get some water in this. We're going to start bringing our, po our egg poaching water not up to a boil, but get it warm so that it can be brought to a boil quickly. And that should be good. Go. Beautiful. All right, you can keep stirring. Just keep stirring, just keep stirring. More water, or more broth. And you just repeat this process until you have a risotto, basically. I need to branch out. There's a spring pea risotto I want to try to make. You join this where you keep asking for recipes. <laughs> and you're lazy. Well, at least you've joined us in the server, happy pony. And now you can share all of the recipes to your little heart's content, and I will be very happy. I love learning new things to cook because getting other people's recipes and ideas and traditions, I get to learn a lot of food outside of my wheelhouse that are um, things I wouldn't have learned on my own. One of my favorite things about the internet is 